Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope that all of you are doing great. Today, we will start a new topic from your English grammar book, Know Your Grammar. Lesson 8, Modals or, mod or Modals. Now, what is a modal? Yeah, what are models? Let us see. Now, models are words that are used along with action words. You can say that modals are, the are a type of a verb that is used to express modality. Now, what do you mean by modality? Modality means a particular mode in which something is expressed. Now, modals express it. Now, what does modal express it? It expresses ability, possibility, suggestion, necessity, recommendation, prohibition, wish, and so on. Ability means the talent, something which you can do it. Possibility, a chance. Possibility means a chance. Suggestion, when you advise. Necessity, something which is required. Something which needs to be done. Recommendation, again, a advice or suggestion. Something which, you rec something which is recommended. Prohibition, something which is not allowed. Wish or a desire. Modals are auxiliary verbs. You can say they are auxiliary verbs. But they do not change with the number of person of the subject. Modals also express our mood, manner, and attitude. Now, here are some examples of modals. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, ought to, used to, need, are all modals. Can and could. First, we'll understand can and could. Now, can and could is used to express ability, possibility, seeking permission, or granting permission. Now, can and could is used to express ability, something which you can do. Possibility, a chance. Seeking permission, when you, uh, you, when you are asking for a permission, or when a permission, or when you are, when a permission is being granted to you. Now let's see a few examples to clarify it. First example, I can dive. Can you? Now first you are saying that I have the ability. I have the talent that I can dive. So can you dive? It's a question you're asking. Do you have this talent? Do you have this ability to dive? Could you please give me a glass of water? Here you are again asking something. Okay, could is a very courteous way, a very polite way to request someone. Like, could you please give me a glass of water? Here you are being very courteous. You are asking in a very polite way. It can rain in the evening. It's a possibility that, yes, there is a chance that it can rain in the evening. So here it is showing the possibility. Now you have to take a note of the thing that could is the past tense of can. Now, may and might. Now, when do we use the modal may? May. It is used to express, again, possibility, wish, make request, and grant permission. It is a very polite way of uh, ask, making a request. Let's see the example. William may not come to school tomorrow. Now here you are expressing a possibility that there are chances that William may not come to school tomorrow. May you achieve success in life? Here you are wishing someone that I wish you that you may achieve success in life. Now let's come to might. Might. It is used to express uncertain possibility and polite permission or request. Now, might is used to express uncertain possibility and a polite, again, a polite request of permission. For example, it might rain today. Again, it's an uncertain possibility. It may or it may not rain tonight. 
you might help wash the cow. You are uh, asking that you might help to wash the car. It's a polite way of asking someone. Now again, here you have to make a note that might is the past tense of may. Shall and should. Shall. It is used to express suggestion, offer and make promise. Now we use shall when you express a suggestion, when you give someone an advice or offer and make promise when you make a promise to someone. For example, I shall score high marks. Here, you are making a promise to someone that this time, I shall score high marks. We shall arrive on time. Here again, it's a promise. It's an offer that you are making that yes, I'm going to arrive on time. Should, it is used to make recommendation or give advice and to express obligation. Now, when you recommend something, when you advise someone, or when you express obligation, like this is your duty and you should do it. Examples, you should not be late. Here, you are giving someone advice or you are recommending someone that you should not be late. You should be punctual. He should respect his, his old parents. Now, here is an advice as well as it, it is to express an obligation. It's a duty that... You need to respect your old parents, that he should advise his old parents. It's an advice, it's an obligation, the duty that he needs to fulfill. Again, should is the past form of shall. Would and will. Would, it is used to make request, promise and offer. For example, would you like something to eat here? You're offering someone that would you like to have something? I would stay back and help you. Here, you are promising someone or you are assuring someone that I would stay with you and I will certainly help you. Will, it is used to make prediction and future promise. Now, will is used for prediction, something which you predict. Okay, it may or may not come true in the near future, but you predict something. Or for a promise, a future promise. For example, I will speak to you again soon. Here, the, uh, the will modal is telling that you are, it's a future promise. That yes, I promise that soon I will speak to you. Not now, but maybe in the coming time, in the near future, I will speak to you. So you are giving the assurance. They will be late. Here you are predicting that I'm pretty sure that they will be late. It can be due to any reason. Here you are predicting. You're not sure, but you are predicting that I think that due to some reason, they will be late. Here again, would is the past form of will. Must and ought to. Must, it is used to give advice, express necessity, prohibition and obligation. Now, must is used to give advice it's a little stronger word to express necessity, something which is required now, something which needs to be done, a prohibition, something which is not allowed, an obligation. Obligation here means the duty. Let's see the example. You must be on time. Here, you are advising someone that it is very good to be on time, that you are always late. And you must be on time. It is important to be on time, to be punctual. Second example, we must use water wisely. Here again, it is an advice, it is a necessity. It is very important that one needs to use the water wisely. You should not waste water. So it's a necessity, it's an advice. Or you can say also it's an obligation. It's the duty to make sure that we use water wisely. Ought to. It is used to express obligation, give advice, and again, a duty which you need to fulfill. Example, you ought to respect your parents. Now, here it is expressing, this modal ought to expresses that it's your duty, that you have to respect your parents. You ought to follow the traffic rules. Again, it is telling that it's your duty, it's an obligation that you have to follow the traffic rule. Now let's practice. It's like a recapitulation. 
may i leave the classroom when the bell rings yes you the the mudal may expresses permission you are asking for a permission that may i leave the classroom when the bell rings is the permission it's a polite permission that you are asking she can swim here can expresses ability she is your subject and that can is expressing the ability that the subject she can swim she has the talent hence here she that is underlined is your subject we must stop at the red light now must the modal must expresses necessity that it is important that we need to stop at the red light it is very very important the film may do well at the box office now the the modal may expresses possibility there are many there is a bright chance that the film is good enough that it can do well at the box office it can be a hit so there is a possibility there is a chance would you switch on the fan now would expresses polite request it's a polite request you are requesting someone to switch on the fan you ought to put in more hours of study here it ought to expresses compulsion compulsion means an obligation a duty that you ought to that if you want to succeed you need to you ought to put in more hours of study here you can also uh, it's a compulsion if only i could travel the whole world here the modal could expresses wish now it's a wish it's your desire that i wish i could travel the whole world so these are the moods the permission the ability necessity possibility polite request compulsion wish are all the moods that is been expressed by the modal i hope you have understood the concept for the better understanding of the concept i will upload the sample assignment along with the notes thank you and have a nice day and keep practicing